Welcome back everyone to another episode from the Multi Tools and Blades channel. Before we get to this ultra rare SOG, first let's have a look at this Victorinox Swiss card. This is one of the originals from 1997 and it's in the original USA packaging. Alright now that we have it out of the box, it came out in this two-tone grey and red colour. Just on the front, it wasn't on the back. So the main tool here is the knife blade and letter opener. It's about the same size and dimensions as the pen blade on a 93mm Victorinox. It's held in place rather well. Only on the original Victorinox did they put their emblem right in this spot here. Another way to tell if it's an original is through this little mark here. Later ones had a solid triangle and it was in a different position. So use these two markers as a quick identifier. Now the hidden scissors are a favourite amongst enthusiasts. For me though, I just don't quite get it. I think there's not enough handle there. I don't know what that little ring's for. I can't get my fingers around it or end it. It's just a bit weird for me. In terms of construction, it's made from this weird textured plastic. I'm sure it's the same nylon that we see on the Eco lines. It would be nice if there was a lot more metal like our SOG friend over here, as you'll see in a minute. We do have a few more metal tools over here, but there's nowhere near enough. On the front we have a nice little metric ruler. The markings are raised. On later versions, the markings weren't so pronounced. Now if we flip it over, we now have some imperial markings. These are not raised at all, and there are no numbers. So only the early versions didn't have any numbers. All the succeeding models all had the inch numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. So the side accessories, we have a stainless steel pin. Same one as used on the Swiss Champ. We have the nail file and the small screwdriver. And we have a standard set of Victorinox tweezers. And same with a toothpick. Although it's worth noting that the head's actually square, so they're not interchangeable with a normal Victorinox. And we have a ballpoint pen. Always comes in handy. And the fact that this all fits into your wallet and pretty much just gets forgotten about until it gets needed um, is really quite good. I mean, that shows why it's been popular for the last 25 years. So if you're one of those people that voted for Victorinox in my last survey, then you could probably stop watching now. But if you voted to see something a little bit different, let's uh, take a look at this. If you took a guess that it was a Tool Logic card, because Tool Logic is owned by SOG, you would be incorrect. It's called the TLPX15, also known as the Toolplex. Just like the Tool Logic Survival card and the Swiss card, it's roughly the same size as a credit card. In fact, we'll just compare the sizes right here. If you've never heard of the SOG Toolplex, I don't blame you. All I could find about it online was an old thread in the Blade forums from about 20 years ago and SOG knives confirming its existence. From this alone we can deduce that it was made between 1999 and 2000. So if we have a look at the tools that are on here, first we've got this metric ruler at the top. There's no imperial ruler, but this was made for an American market by an American company. Or was it? We'll find out soon. Next we have a toothpick and a tweezer, just like a Victorinox, though these look like they were lifted off something else, but I don't think it was. Just like the Tool Logic, we have a little eyeglass magnifier. I have a feeling this is more for reading stuff rather than lighting campfires. Then we have this little corner piece, which is a great box opener and screwdriver. And for those of us that lack imagination, all the tools are marked accordingly. Over this opposite corner, we have the can opener. Looks pretty good, nice and sharp, as you'd expect a can opener to be. Can't miss the glaringly obvious bottle opener. You can really feel the weight difference between this and the Swiss card. Right, this top little thing that pops out is the... What did they call it again? Utility knife, it's marked as. I had safety knife in my head for some reason, and I knew that wasn't right. Just a little reverse Tanto utility blade. Great for popping kids' balloons and such. 
I mentioned before, it's a nice little touch that all the little tools have got their names written on them, so you know exactly what it is. Which is a great segue into my next topic, which is the origins of this tool. I was curious to know why there wasn't much literature on this thing. When I flip it over, right down the bottom near the magnifying glass here, it's got G Sakai. Am I pronouncing that right? Sorry I can't bring this any closer, it'll just come out of focus. I'll do a macro photography video on this one. The G Sakai company is a knife manufacturer in Japan, Seki City, Japan, and they've made all of SOG's early tools, such as the tool clip. I looked online and I came across this little baby. So is it really a SOG? If not, then neither is the tool clip, nor any of the Japanese made Spydercos, which are also made by G Sakai. Well, oh, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something. Feel free to leave me any comments if you have any questions, and I'll catch you all next time.